Astrology has 10 planets to get the main focus. These are the building blocks for any chart and whatever you're focusing on. The 10 planets in astrology are the Sun, Moon, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. Yes, the Sun and Moon aren't technically planets and Pluto's been downgraded to dwarf status, but we consider them a part of the 10. We start with the sun. So the sun sign is usually people's first exposure to astrology and almost everyone knows their sun sign. The sun is who you really are, your true self. You can think of it as your inner self. It's the you who comes out when you're in comfortable situations with people you know well and you're free to remove the mask. This is your natal sun. In transit, the sun shines a light on whatever it's touching and in the progress chart, the sun shows how your personality matures and evolves with age. The moon is your emotional self. Your natal moon shows what you need for emotional stability and security and how you express yourself emotionally. The moon is focused on emotions and it ebbs and flows. In transit, the moon brings emotional focus to whatever it's touching. And in the progress chart, the moon shows how you emotionally uh, mature and evolve with age. The sun and moon are a part of the triad, which includes your rising or ascendant and is your outer self. This trio is considered the basis for who you are as a person. Then we come to Mercury. Mercury is all about the mind. So your natal Mercury shows how your mind operates, how you express yourself and how you communicate. In transit, Mercury brings ideas and mental energy to whatever it's touching. And in the progress chart, Mercury shows how your mental energy and expression matures and evolves over time. Venus is the planet of love and relationships. Its energy is pleasant and calm. In your natal chart, Venus shows what you want and need in relationships, people you attract, and how you show affection. In transit, Venus brings pleasant energy to whatever it's touching. And in the progress chart, Venus shows how your relationships mature and evolve with age. Mars is the planet of energy and drive. It's active and energetic. In your natal chart, Mars shows what drives you to take action and how you take action when you do. In transit, Mars brings energy and drive to whatever it's touching. And I find that whatever Mars is doing is where we're most focused at the moment. In the progress chart, Mars shows how what motivates you and how you take action matures and evolves over time. Mercury, Venus, and Mars are considered the personal planets because they have such a personal stake in our personalities and we feel them deeply. They also move much faster than the other planets. Sometimes the sun and moon will be called personal planets and get lumped in since they are also fast movers, but technically they're considered luminaries. Then we come to Jupiter and Saturn, which are considered the social planets. Their energy is opposite as Jupiter is expansive and Saturn is restrictive. In your natal chart, Jupiter shows where you want space, find opportunities, and take a bigger view. While Saturn shows where you feel restricted, have responsibilities, and have major lessons to learn in life. In transit, Jupiter brings opportunities while Saturn brings lessons and those can be difficult to learn. And then we have the outer planets of Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. They are the generational planets because they move so slowly that people born over a wide swath of years have them in the same sign. Uranus is the planet of change, the unexpected, the unconventional, and individuality. In your natal chart, Uranus shows where you can experience lots of change in your life and need things to be different. In transit, Uranus can bring change and the unexpected. Neptune is the planet of spirituality, karma, intuition, artistry, and the beyond. It's not rooted in this physical, tangible world. In your natal chart, Neptune shows where you can be more spiritual and detached from the mundane, and where you can be a bit foggy and need to work on being more realistic and have better boundaries. In transit, Neptune can bring foggy but inspired energy. Pluto is the planet of transformation, power, and control. In your natal chart, Pluto shows where and what you need to transform in your life and where and how you need to take control. In transit, Pluto demands transformation or else it'll drag you down. 
So that's the 10 planets. Now I also want to bring up two more bodies, Ceres and Chiron. Ceres is a dwarf planet like Pluto and moves slower than Mars, but faster than Jupiter. So it's a little bit personal planet and a little bit social planet. Ceres is the planet of nourishment and is kind of an elevated moon with a little Venus. In your natal chart, Ceres shows where and how you need and give nourishment and support. And in transit, Ceres can impact nourishment, needs, and resources. Chiron is technically a comet, as this is posted, but that has changed a few times. Now in astrology, we usually call it an asteroid. Chiron is the wounded healer and connects to great wounds, but also great healing. In the natal chart, Chiron shows where and what your greatest wounds are, how you can heal from them, and where there can be a quiet power. In transit, Chiron can impact healing, facilitating it or making it worse.